Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Look who it is. Are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. HT baby. Cheers. Have I been manspreading this entire video? There we go. Much better. Good morning, guys. What's up? What's happening? How you doing today? There was this show back when I was growing up called Monk. Uh, it was it was about this. A homicide detective in San Francisco who got fired from his job because he had crippling OCD. Uh, it prevented him from doing his job, and then he eventually became sort of like a private a private detective. He had all these little ticks and these rituals where he had to like touch things or not touch things. He was OCD. He was obsessive. Uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. I think there was like eight seasons, so I spent eight years watching the show from like 11 years old to maybe 18, 17. The ironic part of all of this is that uh, that I, I definitely have a form of OCD. Like if OCD was like a pot of pasta, uh, I would be like one noodle. Definitely not full-blown OCD, um, which is a medical which is how doctors talk about it. Yes, sir, you have full-blown OCD. Um, but no, I definitely have a little OCD. I used to, I grew out of like most of my little ticks and things I did. Before bed, when I was a kid, I would have to like organize my sock and underwear shelf and I'd have to make sure that it was just right. I'm so glad I grew out of that. That would be obnoxious as an adult. I definitely still have like, some weird little things I do. Um, one of which is count things. Like it's so weird talking about this. It's like, it's like you're you're right-handed. Let's say, how often do you think about being right-handed? Never. Yeah. Right. It's it's kind of like that. Like I never think about um, being like having a little bit of OCD. Like if I'm in a bank, I'll count the people in the bank. Why? I don't know. It just feels it just feels good to do it. And why fight why fight that uh, inner urge to count things? Uh, if I'm in a bar, I'll count the the bar stools. Any multiple of things I love to count. Um, I live on the third floor of this building, and I know I'm 49 steps from ground floor to my apartment. So yeah, I'd be counting, which is which is not distracting. Like it does it never like distracts me from like my life um it yeah it's it's like i said it's really similar to just like a part of you so so like stitched into the fabric of your being that you don't think about it you don't question it hey guys sorry to interrupt but I gotta show a little love to today's sponsor. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that is here to simplify our health routines. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. If you're thinking, what's something good I can do for myself this year? This could be it. I think the reason it's been so easy to get in a habit of this is that it tastes good. It has like a sweet minty taste. I even brought it home and my dad tried it and my dad is like notoriously anything green, not a big fan. Um, so it's Mike approved. Uh, so shout out dad. It's not just for athletes. It's literally for anybody who just wants more nutrients in their body. Just add one scoop or travel pack to eight to 12 ounces of water. Shake that baby up. Boom. It not only provides me with all my daily nutrients, um, but also a boost of energy that lasts the entire day. It's good for your hair. It's good for your nails. It supports good gut health. And knowing that I have like a bunch of vitamin C, uh, and zinc for my immune health is also something I'm really into. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Marky Miller to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is going to give you guys a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And now back to the video. I will sometimes also have like these weird like ticks where I'll blink uh, excessively or in like weird abnormal patterns like on camera i think i subconsciously like override 
that the, the blinking. And so I don't know if you guys have ever seen it in my videos, but it's definitely something that occurs in my day to day. Ethan Klein of H3 Podcasts, um, one of my favorite podcasts. Ethan has been very transparent about like his um, Tourette's, but I really appreciate how open he is about his his thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how. The, like, I don't know the right way to talk about this stuff. Like, because again, I don't. I don't. I never think about it. It's just like it's so a part of. It's so a part of who I am. So yeah, I count stuff. Um, I blink. Uh, germs. Not a big fan of germs. What was that movie? Uh, oh shit, with Leonardo DiCaprio, The Aviator, where he plays the pilot who washes his hands so aggressively uh, that his hands bleed. Never gotten to that point. Never, never be making the, the hands bleed. I'm not a handshaker. Um, maybe a fist bumper or an elbow bumper. So I'm curious if you guys have anything uh, similar to this or or anything that you're you kind of like. It's just a part of you, but you're like. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot I do that thing. And when I was a kid, I would rip out all of the tags in my clothing and my mom would find them underneath my bed because it just, like, it, I hated it. Like I would always, I would, I would be sitting there with a tag in my shirt and I would just like, I, I, I couldn't stand it. I was like, ugh, I just couldn't stand it. So I instantly ripped them out and hide them from my mom because I thought, I thought, I think at one point she got upset at me for like ripping, ripping the tags out because it can like damage the shirt. Like the proper way to do it is cut it out. But I was just like, like, nah, get that, get that tag out of here. Um, I think I can have tags in my shirts now. Nope. Both, both of the things I'm wearing do not have tags. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm still a tag ripper. Counting things when I'm in a public place and I do count something, I think it's just my brain being like, hey, it's kind of crazy being out in the world um, and living is just a bizarre thing we get to experience. Um, so why don't we count some things to to ground ourselves and feel present in, the, in, in our environment? Wild. Our, brain, our brains are like, whew, our brains are next level. Thank you for our brains. Shout out to Brains. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Thank you. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? Pretty good. How are you? Do you want to be in the video for today? In the video? Yeah, you can be in it. Uh, sure. What do you want me to do in the video? Uh, you got to do... <laughs> you know that TikTok dance, the Renegade? Oh, that one's hard. No, I'm kidding. Do you guys have any of those like little mini pies? Not mini pies today. No mini pies? Well, all good. Plenty of other stuff going on. You like a cup of coffee? Dude, I'm good actually. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Appreciate it. What's your name on YouTube? Uh, it's Mark E. Miller. Do you watch videos on YouTube? Dude, it's weird. It's becoming like its own like network almost, you know? Yeah. People spend so much time. I learned everything on YouTube. That's how I started <laughs> cooking. And for real. And stuff, on YouTube, yeah. Look how cute that is. Awesome. We got some little sweet treats in our bag. Sweet treat treats from Renee's Bakery. Guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna check out my online store, it's markeddardmiller.com for a hoodie or some prints. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, love you, see you, bye.